Hi Facebook, we're at Pie Towers and it's making day and uh, Carrie Ann has made the whoop eye cushion and is now going to explain to you exactly what it is that she has made. So she'll probably start with an example first and I apologise in advance. <laughs> so we do have Food Truck Friday and we have all eaten a lot of chicken burgers um, but that is not where this sound is coming from. <laughs> it's a deep one. It's a rumbly one. That's an amazing. <laughs> oh. I need to improve the sounds, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> We've already had one person. James has written the what? James is the. Oh! <laughs> that one's a bit better. So if you want to come and zoom in, I can kind of show you. The whoop eye cushion. Um, That's... All I've done is taken two paper plates with tin foil. Um, with, I've just used some uh, conductive copper tape at the edge to make uh, just a really makeshift button. So when you make contact between the two tin foil plates, it makes a connection and it's just a way of teaching about buttons. Um, and this came from an idea that Clive had originally uh, to make and he had made it with his son, Stan. So I just heard him talk about it and thought I'd recreate it today. Because once a month here at Raspberry Pi, we have a, uh, a kind of maker's day for the education team and for the programs team. So this is the kind of thing we do here. <laughs> I promise it's educational. Teaching python -y things and electronics -y things. Um, and we talk about digital making all the time. And so I kind of think that if we don't walk the walk, then we can't really talk the talk about digital making. So this is why we do this. And you can see the state of the desk that we're using for this um, kind of thing. Yep. You can see James is in the middle of um, preparing for Sky Academy. Uh, this is what Fridays are like. <laughs> That's <laughs> foul. It's the worst sound. <laughs> Excellent. So how does how does it work apart from obviously the, the physical button? So we created the button to the Raspberry Pi, which you can see here. And then I've used Ben's brilliant GPO zero library um, to program the button. Um, and I've just created a, a simple loop that every time the, it waits for the button to be pressed, once the button is pressed, it will randomly select one of the sound files that I downloaded um, from like an open sound file library and it will just play them. Excellent. Excellent. If I can see correctly, um, you have been searching for yep. trumps and bean files. Like, this is just <laughs> it's a normal day. It's, it's a, a normal, normal day. A normal day. Excellent. So yes, that's one of the things we're making. <laughs> there has been uh, teams making other bits and pieces as well and the aim is that every time we make stuff we're going to share it with you all. So let's just turn this There we go. You've got us again. Carrie Ann's back. I, I, I like this feature of Alex and Carrie Ann just appearing on Facebook Live. Um, so, yeah, so if you have any questions at all on how this works, um, I'm sure there's no reason why we can't share the code if people want to make their own WIPI cushion. Yeah, it's quite uh, likely we'll turn this into a resource for raspberrypi.org. So. Excellent, yeah, so keep an eye on the resources. If you head on to our website, you'll see um, the education, the resources all there. So that's bye from us and everyone else. It's very empty here today, but there's just a <laughs> quick, quick Do peek this. behind the, uh, the security door of uh, Pi Towers. So have a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>